So recently we did a build and review of the E-Flight Timber. Uh, today we've got something in the box that's gonna hopefully give that a run for its money. Let's take a look. Alright, so here we have it. The Bush Mule by Avios. Uh, we haven't done any of the uh, Avios lines of planes yet. Uh, this actually looks like it's going to be a fun little plane. Graphics are decent on the box. You know, we, we always look at the box first thing. First impressions. Uh, graphics are nice, they're rich, they're wrapped around the box. We've got our pack or, or our actually molded foam, uh, which is always a really good sign of finding a higher quality plane inside the box. So we're kind of doing a comparison of this to the E-Flight Timber, uh, primarily because we just did an unboxing review of it, um, also because frankly we just, we just love that plane. Um, Wyatt's had that for some time, I've actually got one hidden away uh, waiting for, you know, the, the right day to open it up. But uh, we wanted to compare and uh, this was the closest thing that, that interested me enough to buy it. Uh, again. Totally unsponsored videos. We pay for this out of our own pockets. So let's take a look at this. Uh, now the E-Flight Timber, oh boy, that is a tight fitting box. I'm going to coax it here. The E-Flight Timber runs around, if I recall, $234. And that includes one of their uh, stabilizing AS3X receivers. Um, this runs at about $134 or $184. Uh, gotta keep these numbers straight and uh, for that you do not get a radio however adding a radio like one of those little orange receivers and uh, some form or another of um, a gyro really puts this exactly on par price point wise with the e-flight timber boy beautiful packaging already the presentation when you open a box you want to have that kind of wow factor that's not bad that's all right. Everything's in here nice and tight. Um, kind of interesting, uh, I can already see right off the bat something we don't see a ton of, which is uh, where they take and kind of create the center fuselage. Go ahead and get that. Uh, as the primary component, your wingtips actually attach to that outside of the, uh, the pods here for the engines. Um, the other thing I can tell you is, wow, there's some really serious weight to this. Uh, looks like we've got all of our electronics in it. Um, wow, actually, I'm kind of impressed right off the, the bat. So we've actually got all of our cables already zip tied together in a nice tight little bundle. We've got beautiful mechanical hinges here on our flaps. Um, ESCs are exposed so they get some airflow, but not in a way that's, you know, ugly on the plane. We've seen that plenty of times. Yeah, just first impression is actually really good. And uh, we've got that uh, nice peg and slot style uh, front mounting system. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's dive into some of these wings here. All right, looks like these are zip, or yep, uh, heat shrinked or whatever they call it, in to the bag. Wow. <laughs> So I'm actually getting a little excited for this plane. So we have beautiful giant wingtip uh, uh, marker lights and we've also got what looks like headlights. Um, we've got a live foam hinge. Uh, looks like we've got some simple quick connects and some sort of a square base spar system. Uh, so we'll have to see how that works out. Go ahead and get our other wing out while I'm sitting here uh, just kind of talking about it. All right, next we've got our horizontal stabilizer. Uh, you know, nice thing is this looks like it's gonna be an easy build. Uh, and, and I love it when I find companies who are at a, a competitive price point who are doing work for me. You know, we've got a, a beautiful piece of inset plastic here for ruggedness. We've also got uh, nice plastic pieces around our servo horns. Uh, I hate to say it, this thing looks like it's built like a tank. Now I don't see any mechanical hinges in this either, but uh, these live foam hinges, these are very sturdy and there's a much thicker piece of foam there, so it doesn't worry me like what we see on some of the other brands of planes. Uh, boy, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's, uh, let's see here, all right. So we've got two, looks like aluminum braces, that's gonna probably be for the wings to the fuse. 
All right. Beautiful tail section here. We've got our rudder. Let's uh, pull this out. I, I'm kind of impressed. So sneaking in a lot of this, they have carbon fiber hidden everywhere. Um, so there's actually a piece I can see running down the length of this. I've also got it running along the inside of our horizontal stab. So definitely a really rugged plane right out of the box. Looks like we've got our landing gear. Boy, that is a low profile, super wide gear. Now this is something I haven't seen before. Uh, the, 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 the giant bush tires are actually foam. This is the same EPO foam that the plane's made out of. So we'll have to see how those hold up, how rugged they want to be. But uh, you know, we got our little pants on there. They're, they're just like, sort of, yeah, they're just glued on. Um, we'll have to see how rugged the gear that is. All right, we've got a <clears throat> bag of hardware. Good assortment, looks like we've got our spinner caps for the props and some push rods. And looks like our spars too. All right, next up, I recognize these instantly. We have two beautiful tri-blade props. These are the identical same props that come with uh, the B-17 sold by Hobby King. Identical props. And uh, they're beautiful props, good looking, but we found that they're not the most rugged, so we usually swap these out to master air screw, nine inch blades. Uh, we'll have to just see how that goes. Um, a little more foam over here. Uh, oh, so this plane comes with something really interesting. So, we have our typical cockpit, which is our battery hatch, but they've also included this little guy. So this is an FPV camera replaceable cockpit. So you can literally just snap on this piece and fly this plane FPV. I've never seen a company that's gone ahead and done that, let alone encourage that right out of the gate. Really good quality, quality foam. We've got big magnets in here. Man, I tell you, I'm, I'm starting to be impressed. Looks like these are our stabilizers that go on our, our horizontal stabilizer on our tail. Uh, those, are, those are nice. Uh, oh, we've got a front landing gear. Great big spring on it. Not bad. Whoa, we got... Oh! Ha! Full ski set. That's really cool. Uh, so on the timber, and, and granted this is a Utah thing, we kind of get some the more wet, slushy, uh, heavy snow. Uh, greatest snow on earth. Yeah. Um, we tend to use the floats on the timber versus skis, but these are huge skis. These are some of the biggest I've seen. This is exciting. We'll have to see how this runs. And being that it's cold outside right now and we've got snow on the ground, we can actually test that. Looks like we've got a nose tip for the plane. And, oh, we're down to the final part, I think. Go ahead and pull the fuselage out. Oh, very nice. Go ahead and take it right out of the bag. <laughs> that is a big plane. That is a huge box. My goodness, that's about the size of a, size of a mailbox. Um, <clears throat> Interesting, just the way that this thing's put together where the uh, servos are exposed like this, I like that. It makes things really easy to, to repair, replace. Uh, you know, you have a hard landing, you hit a surface, you strip a servo out, they're easy to get to. Now another thing on this plane, which really kind of got me, is it actually has a um, openable cargo bay door. I'm sorry servo, grinding gears. Uh, that, that's, that's accessible. Great big side hatch door. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, wow, there is a ton of space in here. Yeah. And of course that uh, replaceable cockpit front battery hatch that we can use with our FPV. Well, let's go ahead and dive into this, uh, this plane's build and uh, we'll see where, uh, where this goes.
so here we have it. Um, I have to be really honest. I'm super impressed with this plane. Um, you know, we're always looking for the, the ratio of, you know, cost to quality. And this blows away so much of the market space. Um, I'm very, very impressed. I, I hate to say it, this has kind of stolen my heart. Now, granted, we haven't flown it yet, but if it flies as well as I think it will, uh, my timber, it's brand new in the box, might be, uh, might be going up for sale. Uh, so let's do a thrust check on this and we can talk about some of the crazy features this thing has. All right, I haven't done this yet. This runs off of a, a four cell. Boy, where am I gonna? All right, there's an air in a little air intake here we'll, we'll hold on to. Okay, here we go. Oh, ball cut. Staying safe. Oh, we've angered the airplane gods. <laughs> the, the airplane's covered. Are they? <laughs> Every airplane on the ceiling is moving right now. <laughs> this thing has got some serious power. Holy crap, I gotta do that one more time. I mean, what blows my mind is the difference between 60% on the stick and 80, and then 80 to 100. All right, here we go. <laughs> I may have a new favorite plane. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> okay. Tons of power. Ridiculous amount amounts of power. Now, honestly, I can I can see this airplane easily taking off at 40% power. Um, no doubt in my mind. So let's kind of talk about some of the crazy things this plane has capability-wise. All right, so from the factory, it is actually set up with differential thrust out of the box. That means our motors operate independently from each other, and ultimately we can use that for directional control of the airplane, just like our rudder. And speaking of our rudder, every, and, and, and it's everything about this plane, honestly, it is so rigid, there is no play, and the strength blows my mind. We have great control, good range of motion on our rudder, as do we on our elevator and our ailerons. Blows my mind just how well built this plane is. Super, super strong, super We ended up counting seven carbon fiber spars throughout this plane, and two aluminum spars in the wings. This thing's built like a tank. I am absolutely impressed, but it really isn't as heavy as I thought it would be. It's right on par with the flight timber. Um, really, truly not that far off. It is a beautiful plane built to last. The lighting on this is really quite great too. Um, our motors are also reversible. So with a flick of a switch, once you've landed, you can actually reverse the thrust on the motor, coming to a stop in even a shorter distance. Really an impressive plane. Also, if you, you, know, you run off too far to the side of the runway where you can't take and turn around, you can back the plane up. I'm not kidding, I don't make these things up. This plane has that ability. On top of that, we have really, really fantastic Flaps, look at that, and a cargo drop door. <laughs> oh, it will be raining parachute army men at our airfield. <clears throat> you know, as I built her, there, there were a few oddities. You know, you run into that once in a while. I had a hard time getting the two screws holding the rudder in place uh, aligned properly. Finally, I had to take it off. 
um, and, and take a good hard look at it. But the thing that again blows me away quality wise is there's actually a tab that ducks in and under the fuselage holding the front of the rudder in, making it even that much more structurally rigid and strong. Um, you know, for the price, $188, that's the accurate price. Now we are, we are using an eight channel receiver. Uh, it's an orange, uh, I think we paid like $26 for it. So there's a hidden cost there, but it's really quite minute. This is a fantastic plane. Um, everything about this plane is so well done. And on top of that, the ability to take and swap our canopy or our, our battery hatch with an FPV setup. Man, this plane really has so much going for it. Um, I'm really struggling to find anything to criticize on this. Uh, again, we know the props, they're the, the weaker style props off of the B-17 that Hobby King carries as well. So those would be upgradable. Uh, should you break a prop, then there's great justification to do it. But until then, you know, stick with these and fly it and, and see how you do. Honestly, the placement of these props, and they're so far from the ground and so close to that gear, I think you'd have a real hard time. You'd have to be doing some, some pretty crazy stuff to, to break a prop. So all of that being said, um, you know, we've got an unbelievably strong uh, all metal steering clevis up here for, for the, uh, the uh, front landing gear. I'm very impressed with that. Um, very impressed with that. Now there, there were a few, a few things that I didn't like about this plane. The first is, is it didn't come with instructions. Um, we had to go online, we had to download a PDF. It's really an easy plane to put together, um, but uh, you know, it's one of those things that would be nice to have. The second is, is we have these vertical stabilizers that are supposed to somehow mount to our, um, our horizontal stabilizer uh, on our tail. Uh, there are no instructions on how to do that in any way, shape, or form. We have literally no guidance whatsoever on how to do that. So here they sit, um, you know, I'm not quite sure how we put these on yet, uh, but uh, I'm gonna have to look into it. It would be a fun feature to add, and you know, it just adds a little flavor to the plane, makes it that much more unique. One other thing that kind of concerns me are these foam tires. Uh, we'll just have to see how they hold up. This is literally EPO foam. It may work well, it may not, it may deform on rough landings. Uh, we're just gonna have to see. I do suspect that if you were uh, flying off of uh, a, a you know, dirt runway or even a hard packed gravel, uh, it would chew these up a bit more than off of uh, asphalt. So we'll just have to do some experiments with this. Heaven knows this plane's rugged enough for some serious off-road landings. Anyways, that's the Avios Bush Mule. Uh, this one's definitely on my list. It's, it's, a, it's a keeper. This one's one to have. And at the price point right now, boy, you just can't beat it. Definitely a contender against the E-Flight Timber. So yeah, take a look at it. See what you think. If it's something that you're looking for in a dual prop plane with cargo drops, oh, I don't think you could do better. Until next time, keep flying.